Hello, good morning, good morning, everyone. This is the day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice and we are going to be glad in it. How are you doing on this beautiful day here in Michigan on this beautiful fine Tuesday? Thank you so very much for joining in for today's morning devotional. We're so glad that you stopped on by. I am Pastor Danielle. I am the lead pastor here at Christian Church for All Nations. So glad that you tune in. We're going to get ready to open up in a time of prayer. So as I always say that if you have any prayer requests, if there's any prayer needs that you have, please let us know in the comments how we can pray for you. Or if you feel more comfortable, just send the church a Facebook message. Let us know how we can pray for you because we believe in the power of prayer. Amen. And we believe in the power of prayer because you know what? Guess what? Our God is still healing. He's still working signs and miracles and wonders. People are being saved. So whatever your need may be, we are going to partner together. We're going to believe together for the Lord to meet that need. So let's go before the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day that you've blessed us with. Lord, this day that you've made and we have made the declaration, we're going to rejoice and we will be glad in it. So Lord, we take this moment to pause for a few moments to lift up the needs of our fellow brothers and sisters, Lord. Those who need a healing touch. And Lord, I know personally there are many people that need a healing touch from you, Lord. And we know nothing is too hard for you, God. So God, we are going to trust you. We're going to trust you in your word and at your promises. Lord, we take our hands off the situation. Lord, say, Lord, we're releasing it to you to say, Lord, you have your way. Lord, we just thank you for this time. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Alrighty, I hope everyone is doing well. How are you doing? I always like to pop in to find out from everyone to see how you're doing. How is everything going on? I pray all is well. And this morning, I want to talk to you on the infamous topic of rest. And you may be saying, rest of what? And that's what I wanted to talk to you for just a few moments about today. And it's a funny thing is that we talk so much about rest people, at least, I, at least people that I'm dealing with, it's like we're always saying, well, we need rest, we, we need rest, and all of those different things. But guess what we're not doing? We are not resting. And, and it's something that we need to do. It is something that it is required for us because, you know, we look at the Word of God, and that's what we're going to look to in just a moment, about the importance of rest. And I know you could be saying right now, someone out there is saying, I am too busy to rest. I think that's something that we all will say is that we're too busy. We have so many excuses or think different things that was so well we can't do and rest is not really a priority for some. And then what happens after a while, our body is going to be depleted. We're going to be stressed out, worn out, burnt out and all of that other stuff. And who's ever been on that struggle bus before? You ever been on that struggle bus where you're just tired and worn out? You get so busy doing things, guess what happens? You are burnt out and eventually you're just like, I don't want to do this anymore. And it happens time and time again. And often, often I see in ministry, these things are happening. But I want to look to what does the word of God talk about rest? Because we can get so caught up in what I call the busyness trap. We're busy, busy, busy doing this. We wake up and we're, a lot of us, well, we're at still like full steam ahead. First thing in the morning, we're going nonstop, like burn, like gotta do this, we gotta do this, I gotta get this there and gotta do this, gotta take care of this bill, gotta take care of the house, gotta take care of the spouse, gotta take care of the kids, gotta take care of all this other stuff. And eventually we're just like, ah! But we need to beware of that busyness trap. We have to take time to withdraw and to rest. And we gotta be get to the place that because when you're in that business trap where you're just going, 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 doing, 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 it wears on you. It wears on your body, it wears on you mentally. But we have to discipline ourselves to take a rest. And I know that can be hard. And I sometimes we feel guilty about taking a rest, taking a moment to pause. But we get to the point where we think that we are superhuman. So we, you know what? We have supernatural strength from the Lord. But in the natural, we think that we're all oh, a super being. I can do this. And like, yeah, we're supermen. We're superwomen. But hey, even they have to take time to put their capes aside 
and Russ. And we look at Jesus in his word, how he often would talk about resting and how often he would just steal away and rest. And yes, you may have heard this before, but it's something that's worth repeating, something that's worth that we need to understand is that we talk about this rest, but are we really doing this rest? So number one, we have to discipline ourselves to rest. Are you feeling super drained, super tired, super exhausted? You're just super, super, you're just like, I'm done with this. I'm super exhausted. But what the word of God says in Matthew 11, verses 28 and 30, and this is a familiar passage of scripture. You may have heard it. I'm going to read it to you from the message. And it reads, the words of Jesus, are you tired, worn out, burnt out on religion? What does he say? Come to me get away with me and rec you'll recover your life i will show you how to take a real rest walk with me work with me watch how i do it learn the unforced rhythms of grace i won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. These are the word of Jesus. Now, if Jesus took rest, if Jesus took away from his busy life of ministry and dealing with people and training and equipping those disciples, it tells us this is something we ought to do. Jesus oftentimes said, get away, just to be still away, just to be alone, just to get into the presence of to be with the Father and to have that communion. And now he's letting, he's saying, if you're tired, people of God, you need to hear this because there's a lot of burnt out folks running out there. You are running on empty. Your gas tanks need to be refilled, okay? You need to get your spiritual tanks going. And you're just like, you're going, and it's like you're sometimes, if your car is like run really low gas and you try to turn it and it's like, and it's like sputtering along because it doesn't have the fuel to get it to go. And it's the same thing with our walk with Christ is that many of us are walking around in that stake. It's like, we're getting, we're putting around, putting around like, do, 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 do. but it could be so much better if we just take a moment to pause and rest. And you can say rest of what? Rest of the worry, rest of that anxiety, get rid of all of that, that all of that stuff. It is a point of discipline. It's a discipline that you do. It's like you discipline when you wake up, your alarm clock goes off in the morning. And sometimes we may hit that snooze one or, few, one or two or four or five times. But it's a discipline saying that at this time, I'm waking up. I got to do X, Y, and Z. But with all of that being done in the day is to make time and say, Lord, you're a priority. And in order for me to get rest, and rest comes for different people in different ways when it comes to how we take our minutes of rest or our moments of rest. But Jesus got away and he prayed and he rested and he refreshed. Pray, rest, and be refreshed. You can have refreshing rest when you're in his presence. Again, sometimes it's just a few minutes where you just have to get away and say, I'm going to rest in you, Lord. I'm going to rest, leave these, these concerns and these things that are going on right now. And I'm going to make it a priority. And you can say, I'm too busy. That is an excuse. Because for what we want to do, for what's a priority in our life, guess what? We are going to make it happen. And it's the same way when it comes to resting in him. And that's what it comes down to is that we are going to say, I'm going to come to him. As it says in his word in Matthew, come to me. Jesus is saying, will you just come? Will you come to the Father? And you say, get away. Isn't that something? I know sometimes people take many vacations, like I'm just going to get away, take a little mini trip, mini road trip somewhere, wherever. And the thing is, you can have a mini vacation all the time with the Lord and saying, right now, I'm going to make a place. I'm designating this time. And I'm going to do what the word of God says to get away with Jesus. And it says, you'll recover your life and you're going to find rest. You're going to be fine. You're going to have rest and you're going to have refreshment. So that way, when you have to take on, when you go out to face the world, you're like, I'm ready to take on because you've been refreshed in his presence. 
is about finding balance in this chaos of life. And yes, life does get chaotic, but the Lord can give you the balance that you need. And maybe you're struggling with this area. You're like, I don't know how to find the balance. But what you can do is say, Lord, teach me how to rest. Teach me how to discipline myself to rest. Teach me how to go about in this daily life, a crazy life that we're living. So here what we need to do. We need to withdraw and we need to rest. And stop letting that busyness trap hinder you from getting your adequate rest. Stop and rest. Again, I'm not telling you how much time it is. This is between you and the Lord. I can't tell you what you need to do, but I'm just telling you what the Word of God says. The Word of God says to what it says. I'm going to read it in Matthew 11, 28 and 30. It says, are you tired? Been tired. Been there, done that. Worn out. Burned out on religion. Come to me. He's saying, come. Will you just come? Get away with me. You'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me. Work with me. Watch how I do it. This is Jesus talking. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and learn to live freely and lightly. This is the words of Jesus. And I just read out of the message version of the Bible. This is what he's telling us, folks. I mean, take time. Yes, as I said, life gets super busy. And we think that we have this superhuman strength. We think we're Superman. We think we're Wonder Woman. But we are humans that need to rest. And most importantly, our rest comes when we rest in the Lord. And there is a refreshing in his presence. Thank God that I know I can spend five, ten minutes in his presence. And guess what? It is better than the rough night of sleep that I may have had. Because I've been refreshed in his presence. Take time, folks. Take time to do what the word says. Discipline yourselves to rest. Withdraw and rest. And be encouraged that the Lord is going to show you. And he's going to give you a refresher and rest that's going to blow your mind. Well, I thank you so very much for joining in on this morning. Hope to see you tomorrow night for worship and the word at 630. And we're just going to get ready to close out in prayer again. If you need any prayer requests or anything, let us know in the comments how we can pray for you. And don't forget to let us know those praise reports as the Lord is answering those prayer requests. Because why? We want to rejoice with you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord God. God, we thank you that you've given us the manual for rest, God. That you showed us in your word what we need to do and how to find rest. And Lord, for those who are out there so busy with doing things in life, and we all are busy, I know. But God, even in the midst of the busyness, Lord, don't let the busyness be a trap. Lord, show us, teach us to discipline ourselves, to make time to rest. Rest so that we can be refreshed, Lord God. Let us learn to rest and be refreshed in your presence, Lord God. Lord, let the chaos in the mind, Lord, saying what we need to do, calm it right now, God. Let your word be what we meditate on. Let your word what we focus on, God. Let your word be what we live, God. And we thank you for this and your most precious and holy name. Amen and amen. Have an awesome day. We look forward to seeing you the rest of the week for more morning devotionals. Bye.